Hello and welcome back to Cave Story everybody! So, we're going deeper in the sand zone and we've got a dog on our head. Woof woof. So these enemies right here are great if you need to level up some of your weapons. Or, you know, if they're just in your way. It's just like, I mean, look at all the EXP they drop. Also, remember, bones in that one? Yes, there's a sand croc in that little thing over there. Alright, it's time for a boss fight. That Balrog, he's blundered yet another time. Hmm, you have a lot of spirit. However, to come all the way here, you're a bit troublesome. You want to take me on? Hmm? Oh, it doesn't seem like it'll be necessary. Bye now. Yeah, we're not fighting Misery. We're fighting this Fane. And wow, look at how much HP I've already destroyed of it. This Fane's even easier with the machine gun. Of course, it doesn't stay super easy, but I mean... Goodbye. We defeated Omega. And the curse on the Sunstones is lifted. You're probably wondering what the curse on the Sunstones even was in the first place. Well, yeah, I'm not surprised. We only encountered sun Sunstones for like a brief period. And I literally just walked right past them without commenting on them. So we're going to just backtrack now. Back to the Sunstones. My weapon could use some leveling up, but in my past, um, trying to take on those fans ended up losing me more EXP than gaining the, so, no thanks. Alright. Stupid crocodiles. What are you even doing in the desert? Okay, yeah, sunstones are here. Now that this curse is broken, they open up, and that's literally it. So you'll remember Curly was telling us to see Jenka? Well, her house is right through here. Yep, Jenka's house. And her house has amazing music. Oh, oh! That's my doggy! Gave her the dog. You've returned him to me. That was very nice of you. What? The red flower. Oh yeah! How do you doing, Auntie? Oh, it's you, Balrog. You look good. How's my stupid daughter been lately? Ha! Stupid daughter? You mean misery? She's also fine. A new master has appeared. This time the surface will finally be ours! Are you two still trying to do that? I'm not here to cause you any trouble. I just came by to pick up the key to the warehouse. You know, the warehouse with the flower seeds! Huh. I have no idea what you're talking about, Balrog. Is that so? You're just pretending that you don't know! I see now. You're going to betray us, then. Is that it? You'll be sorry! A new master. It must be another idiot at it yet again. About my dogs, I still have four more. My little pups. But these legs of mine are so very weak. Sorry for the inconvenience, but would you mind finding the rest of my dogs for me? It's not a worthless side quest, you actually have to. Yeah, I'll save. Even though the next one is literally, like, right next to us. Alright. Also, those d undead dinosaur heads you probably want to take out. Yep, another dog block. We can walk through it. Sand zone intertwines on itself a lot. And lucky us, we get another dog. And a life capsule. Totally worth it. And we'll need that life capsule. 33 HP, nice. Not sure if I've mentioned it before, but you get a maximum of 50 if you get all the life pa uh, packs. Alright, Jenka, got another dog. 
up. You're fast! This certainly is one of my beloved little dogs. By the way, you must be a soldier from the surface. It's been a long time since all those robots just like you came to this island. They were responsible for the deaths of so many defenseless Mimiga, and for the lives of the brave men and women who tried defending the Mimiga. Due to effects of consuming the forbidden red flower, the cornered Mimiga became utterly rabid. They fought back viciously against the robots that had invaded their island. Who knows, had there been no red flower, it's very possible that the Mimiga on this island might have been annihilated. Three more left. I know you can do it. That music is so good. Actually, just the music in this game in general is amazing, especially from the remastered soundtrack. So interesting. So the robots like me invaded the island many years ago and killed a lot of the Mimiga. Makes you wonder if we're part of that. Sand Warehouse is east. Makes you wonder if, like, we actually were a bad guy until we got the memory loss. It's an interesting idea. Alright, so there's this whole area. Just start by going on the bottom. Kind of ignore that. Okay. Don't, like, ignore the creatures that are uh, uh, throwing bones at you, but, like, don't try killing them yet, because they're, they're more trouble than they're worth. Oh, this doofus. This doofus has way more HP than he should and deals way more damage than he should. And that dog you have to catch. Looked easy, but it's very easy for him to just run past you in a straight line down here. We'll have to come back for this area, believe me, like two or three more times. And it's annoying, so yeah. This part of Sand Zone is basically just a lot of backtracking, which is not great, but I mean... You're gonna have some backtracking in a game. Ooh, definitely. That one's mine. Thank you so much. This one makes free. Have you ever seen an enraged Mimiga? Eating the red flower will make me stronger. A great many of the Mimiga believed this and chose to eat the red flower. Then and only then did they have fight back against the battalions of robots. But, do you know what happens afterwards to a Mimiga filled with such rage? It was so terrible. Perhaps they couldn't control themselves. Well, most of the Mimiga who consumed the red flower were never to be seen again. They went missing. I heard a rumor that they supposedly made it down to the surface, where the humans live. The thought of the enraged Mimiga anywhere close to the surface, with humans, if it's really true. Do you yet realize it? Do you realize how dangerous the red flower actually is? Two more pups. I will save now. This is where the journey gets a bit more dangerous. So, like, every time you give her a dog, you get a little more plot. I kind of like that. Okay, yeah. Oh boy, oh boy. I didn't pass. And then shoot this behind. We want to shoot all these birds from the ground. It makes your life so much easier. It takes longer, but it makes your life easier. They'll take way less damage this way. Whoop! You'll still take a little damage. That's to be expected, but, like, you won't take a lot. Or, you know, if you've got the machine gun, you could literally just go to the end of here and fly up there, but... That's your choice. It makes this part much faster. I wonder for speedruns if they choose the machine gun. Just because it's probably the fast. Yeah, it's probably the fastest gun. Alright, so we can't kill this guy, but... If you shoot the bird, then the little crocodile head thing comes down and hops around. Whereas if you kill the crocodile head first... Eh, we could go up there, but I'm gonna get the one that's furthest away first. Yeah, like, you could kill the crocodile head if you wanted to. Or if you kill the, like, the crocodile head first then the bird, like, will just start attacking you, so. It's up to you which one you want to deal with first. And let me tell you, those Grim Reaper dinosaur things, they're nasty. They chuck so much stuff at you. And it's very hard to avoid all of this stuff.
Boom, baby. I don't like how the Polar Star levels down so quickly, but such is nature. Also, once you start shooting the birds, instead of just flying in a particular pattern, they'll actually start, like, chasing you down, like you could see there. So I try to take down the birds one at a time so you don't get overwhelmed. Uh-oh. Phew. Sandzone has walls that can be passed through easily. Look for markings on the walls, like this one. Or, you know, the dog prints that you absolutely had to have known about before getting this far. Yeah, this, this dog that I'm going after is, like, really far away from Jenka's house. It's kind of annoying. Especially if you fall down multiple times. Okay. Fireball's more powerful, so... Fireball's more powerful, but I guess the Polar Star shoots in a straight line, so it's easier to hit. And it's more, more rapid fire since you can only have three fireballs on the screen at a time, whereas Polar Star, there's no limit. Makes you kind of wonder why that is. Okay, don't fall here, or else you're going to die instantly. It's locked. Yep, this is the warehouse with the flower seeds in it. Thankfully, it looks like no one's around. Woo, nice! That jump's harder to make than you might think. And we get stuff! I love stuff! Oh my gosh! Sorry. The, but, like, the lights on the, in this room are on a sensor, and they turn off very frequently. When I let's play, and I've got to, like... Like, man, you've got to move, like, crazy in order to get them to turn on. More than just your arms, you've got to, like, move everything. Well, at least the ride back will be easier. And just in case you're wondering, no, you can't have two dogs on your back at once. Otherwise, I would. Oh, man, this guy, this doofus is still hopping around? Jenka, I got a dog for you. You are the popular one. My dogs aren't very fond of troublemakers, either. I really do appreciate all your hard work so far. Is it the warehouse key that you're after? The same warehouse that contains all the red flower seeds in it? Doesn't matter to me who you are, understand? I can't give you the key to the warehouse. Sorry. Opening the warehouse, that would be foolishly allowing an encore of the same tragedy from before. One, two, three, and four. Only one more pup to go. Thankfully, this next pup is much closer than the other ones. Or rather, than the last one. So, let's see what happens if you go up here first. Actually, I guess it's not super dangerous. If you're good at dodging the bones, it's actually a much better option to just... Ignore the bottom. All right, yep, up here. Dog goes in the house. See those bones of... Well, this is like a pitch black room. See those bones over there? There's a sand croc in this room. So what you want to do is shoot... Yeah, see that gap up here? Gap up here. Gap up here. Come along, little doggy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Ah! Nope. 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 Darn it. Whoop, boop, 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 herp, skirp, derp. Oh, nope. Alright, let's get up here. Come on. That is why you only want to destroy one of these blocks at a time, so that way those dinosaur heads can't come down. Thankfully, I lived. Uh-oh. I have the warehouse key! Alrighty then, see ya! Wait! I bought, brought your dog. Oh, it's you. 
gave her the dog. The key, the key to the warehouse was stolen by Balrog. Please, stop them. They'll unleash rabid Mimiga possessed by the red flower against the surface. Wait! Please take this with you. We get a life pot. That's a really good item. Use it and your life will be fully restored. But just once. So I'm sure you're thinking, well, if you're a hoarder, like I usually am in games, you're probably not going to be using that. Don't be afraid to use it. You do get another one in the game. Like, you can you can use it, come back to Jenka's house, and you get another one, except it's going to be very hard to come back to Jenka's house after now. So... You're, you will still get another one. Another character can give you it if you haven't, if you've already used it later on. But it's much later on, and there are plenty of parts coming up that you're really going to want the life part pot at. But like, rest assured, I will almost certainly be using the life pot. Take that, you stupid bird. Ah, okay. I forgot those things are actually like semi-intelligent. Oh no. Man, my robot's a good jumper. Wee! How dare you? I take great offense to that. Die! Like, for crying out loud, I know you're a skeleton already, but like, seriously. This is not good, because the upcoming boss fight is actually quite difficult. It is not at all uncommon to die multiple times on this next boss. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no, this is not good. Get out of here, you stupid birds. Oh, sweet. I like it when enemies drop health, especially when I can actually pick it up. Whoop. All right. First off, before going in there to the boss fight, you definitely want to fill up on health and save. Oh, boy. Great doctor. All the red flower seeds have been harvested. Good. By the way, the flowers blooming there. Are they the demon flowers? Yes, sir. Well, well. Such an ominous flower. Unexpected, to say the least. My great doctor, would you like to eat one? No, that won't be necessary. Well, why don't we sample it by using a mamiga instead? Yes, I agree. Uh-oh. Uh? Huh? Where? Where? Hey, where are you going? Balrog, make her eat a red flower. Got it. Please don't. Eat it. Eat it. Stop now. And Dane Kane, you're awesome. Taroko, are you alright? Keen? Oh, my head. No! You're that doctor! Indeed. I am the doctor. And your new leader. I should say it's a pleasure to finally meet you. Tell me, is there something you'd like to do with that sword of yours? <laughs> I'm gonna kill you! Ah, oh, darn it. Without the power of the red flower, they are weak. Ooh, you're that persistent soldier from the surface. You have perfect timing. They're all yours. A small gift from me to you. <laughs> There's no need for you to thank me. Handle them, will you? And if there's ever a boss you don't want to fight, it's this one. Oh no! 
Taroko, no, don't. Ah, Taroko hits like a truck. I'm already almost dead. I forgot how powerful she was. Ah! Okay. I'm really sorry. Oh! Avoiding those blocks. Do avoid those blocks at all costs. Those hurt so much. Thankfully, it's a very pattern-based boss, but if you're not expecting it, believe me, those blocks will destroy you. I am so sorry, Taroko. I had to. Defeated rabid Taroko. And she is not coming back. Ugh. I can't help you anymore. Will you avenge me? And for that, we get the blade, which is, like, not really a gun, but it is an awesome weapon. It is so powerful. Oh, yeah! Sorry! <laughs> You're still alive. There was one back then, too. A tough little robot like you. There will be no end to this if we try to take you head on. I'm sending you to the labyrinth. And you, too. Eh? <laughs> that was refreshing. You've hit the ground floor. Where is this place? You were thrown down here by that witch misery, too. Poor little guy. The island's junk is stored here. Once you're in here, you'll never be able to get out. The switch for this door is supposed to be all the way up top. But the footing's real bad. I've fallen so many times in it that I've broken my leg. No response. Well, as deep and sad as that was, we have to leave the episode off there. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. For the next episode, we will try getting out of this labyrinth. Have a great day, and God bless.